Hi guys, and a massive warm welcome back to the channel. And a warm welcome back to the channel guys and as you would have seen by the thumbnail today we're going to be trialing out some products from gloss fill and as always with every detail we start off with the wheels because these are normally the dirtiest parts of the car so i've just gone in with gloss fills citrus at one to nine in the iek sprayer obviously I wasn't planning on using any fallout so I thought well we'll try it on these wheels I know they're wheel trims but we still had a bit of a reaction from them and this citrus tire and wheel cleaner now I found this to be really good it did bring the dirt out of the tires And as always, just to get the best out of these products, a little bit of agitation with various brushes. As you'll see, I'm going around the wheel arches with the Easy Go brush. And because of the wheel trims, it wasn't really that dirty. I am tackling the face of the wheel trim and the tire with a Viscount soft bristle brush. So now the wheels and the tyres are taken care of, we're going to go in with our pre-wash. So we're just going to blitz this car with a mixture of 1 to 9 Citrus pre-wash in the IEK sprayer. And just like any other citrus guys please make extra care when using don't let it dry out on the paintwork or don't use in direct sunlight you know just use your head you don't want to be spoiling the car's paintwork so now that we've given this citrus a few minutes to do its thing now rinse off as you'll see i'm going from bottom to top you can do it from top to bottom side to side whichever way you're comfortable with there is no right or wrong way And up next was their pH neutral snow foam. Now I'm not going to lie, this was the product that I was most excited to try. Because as you will know guys, I love watermelon. And the smell that you get from spraying this, it is divine. Fair play. I mixed this because it was a small car. 450 of water, 50ml of product. And as you'll see, the foam is very thick but being a pH neutral snow foam 
I haven't long come back from UK Detail and Academy course with the TCV guys and it's made my outlook on detailing change. Do we really need snow foams? Are they any good? Is it a hype that we've all just jumped on? It's something that we probably will be discussing soon. So moving on from the product that I was most looking forward to using to the product that I'm least looking forward to using. Now, gloss enhancing shampoos. Now, they're a bit of a marmite. Some people like them, some people don't. And they're just not my cup of tea. But this stuff was very good in the foam lens. Nice and thick. It was super slick. And you could see that it did offer a gloss finish. And don't forget, the shampoo stage is the perfect time for your brushwork. Just again, those little nooks and crannies. So while you're watching me rinse the vehicle off, I'll tell you about the other products that I tried, which is not featured in this vehicle, like the tyre serum. At first impressions, it went on nice, but after a day or two, it lost its shine. And there was a little bit of sling at the side of the car, which didn't really impress me that much. And also the quick detailer. I'm going to say really about a quick detailer. Probably once you've used one of them, you've probably used them all. Um, it did have a nice smell to it, like a bubble gum or some sort. But... And as always guys, if you've used anything from the Gloss Fill range, please let me know your thoughts. And there you have it guys. I just want to say a thank you to Gloss Fill for sending me the products out to try. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, please, guys. I love reading the comments and interacting with you. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.